So Microsoft just started back their software engineering apprenticeship program called Microsoft Leap, and it pays you up to $10,000 a month for four months. It is completely virtual, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the program now. If you're interested, go ahead and check the description below so you can go ahead and find the application link. While you're down there, you can also find a, new, a link to my newsletter where you can receive weekly updates on different job postings, such as this one, that I think will be interesting to those of you who either are trying to break into tech or continue your career uh, in STEM. Now, let's talk a little bit about the requirements for this program. You must fall into one of the following three requirements to be eligible for this. Number one, you must be either a community college graduate. Number two, you must be somebody that is returning to work from a career break that is two years or more. So this is for individuals that maybe had a kid or had to be a caretaker for an extended period of time, and now they're ready to get back into the workforce. And the third way that you can qualify this for this program is someone that's making a career transition or a career pivot. And so that's for somebody that doesn't have any tech experience, but now they're interested in becoming a software engineer. Regardless of which way you qualify for this program, it is important that you have a foundational knowledge of coding. You don't need to be an expert by any means, but you do need to have experience and knowledge with at least one language. So whether it's Java, JavaScript, React, SQL, whatever the case may be. In terms of what the recruiters are looking for in individuals to determine who gets accepted into the program or not, some of the key skill sets that they're looking for is passion, grit, curiosity, and an ability to work on teams. So you want to make sure that when you're creating your resume or updating your LinkedIn profile that you reflect all those different skill sets. Since I mentioned LinkedIn, it's a great time to mention that you guys definitely need to update your LinkedIn profile if you haven't already. The recruiters and hiring managers have made it crystal clear that they are going to be reviewing your LinkedIn profile. So make sure you have any kind of GitHub links on there and that they're up to date and that they reflect all the different projects that you've worked on so far. You want to put your best foot forward and show the, the hiring team that you'll be successful if chosen for this program, and that you have a passion and a curiosity for learning and progressing your career. Since we're living in the age where AI and ChatGPT are really like controlling everything or being talked about everywhere. They did mention that some nice to haves would be experience or skills or familiarity with AI or AI tools. And then also they said, if you have any experience with cloud computing, such as AWS or Azure, um, those will also be nice to haves as well, but they're not required, but they are going to be nice to haves given, you know, the landscape and where tech is at in terms of cloud computing and AI. As I mentioned earlier, this program is completely virtual, so you can do it from the comfort of your home. It's a four month long program. If you get converted from a apprentice into a full time direct hire a software engineer at the end of the program. You'll then have a discussion with your hiring manager to determine if you need to relocate to one of the Microsoft offices or one of the cities that has a Microsoft office, or if you'll be able to continue to remark virtual or whatever the case may be. But I wouldn't focus on that right now. Just, you know, focus on applying, improving your resume, improving your LinkedIn profile to kind of reflect some of the things that they're looking for. And then once you get to that point where you're at the end of the program, then you can kind of have that discussion and worry at that time about moving or relocating. But overall, sounds like a great opportunity for you all to get your feet wet, learn something new, um, get exposure. They also provide a lot of coaching and mentoring. That's one of the key selling points that they really talked about during the program. So you're going to be working on a real life, real world project. And you're going to be getting hands-on coaching and mentoring from the hiring manager or the manager and software engineers on the team. So highly recommend you guys check this out. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Andrew Baines. I am an engineer turned recruiter and host of the Custom Journeys podcast. My goal is to help you all be successful in your STEM career, wherever that is that you may be in your journey. I hope you all subscribe to the channel, like, share, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for more great content featuring diverse STEM professionals and then also unique job opportunities within STEM that I think you will like. So that's it for this episode or this video. I will see you all soon and take care. Peace.